My name is Stray Linhart. I'm a senior at Lake Mary High School in Lake Mary, Florida. My parents have owned the budget blinds of Lake Mary for 11 years. My academic career looks much different than most because in second grade I was diagnosed with dyslexia. Dyslexia ranges from mild to severe. I fell more on the upper side of the spectrum. My teachers noticed it first in preschool. Then in kindergarten, I ended up having to repeat. It took some time and persistence on my parents' part to truly figure out why I was struggling to learn the same way the other kids in class were learning. Public schools don't recognize or acknowledge dyslexia, so my parents moved me to a private school for fourth grade that specialized with learning disabilities. I stayed there until eighth grade when I moved to a different private school for my learning disabilities. Even though I was attending school more equipped to help me, I still required extra help outside the classroom. The help I received was from Gwen Kamara, who has been my tutor now for six years. After each day of school, I spent an extra two to three and a half hours with her, going over my assignments and the skills needed to succeed in class. She has been a lifesaver for me and has helped me to stay organized and on top of all my assignments. I'd say with Trey, one thing that all dyslexic kids struggle with is, is there something wrong with me? And I think over the years of working with Trey, I've seen him change from struggling with some of those insecurities and questions to really advocating for himself, to know what he actually needs um, in the classroom, things that he's entitled to. You wouldn't keep a pair of glasses away from a kid that needed them to see. And in the same way, a kid with dyslexia needs certain accommodations just so they can function at the same level as their peers. It has always been a dream to graduate from public high school, and thanks to my perseverance, my work ethic, and Gwen, we have made my dream a reality. After high school, I plan to attend Seminole State College. I think staying close to home and Gwen will help me settle into college for the first year or two. Then I plan to transfer to a big university to finish out my college degree. Trey's taught me a lot, actually, even though I teach him a thing or two to get through school. Trey has an amazing work ethic, and I've seen him blossom in his confidence um, for what he's capable of and realizing what he needs to ask for when he needs it. The biggest lesson that dyslexia has taught me is that if I work hard, then I can achieve any of my goals. I'd like to thank Norman Windows Fashions for considering me for this scholarship. Dyslexia affects 20% of the population and runs in families. That's one in five kids.